Good morning, YouTube, and happy Easter Sunday here in 2018. I just wanted to do a quick and informal update video on the Spartaco Dragonfly 2 Salt. About a year ago, I did a video on it, and if you want to check out all the details from the unboxing video, you can go ahead and check that video out. I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is just an informal update video. I just wanted to show you what it looks like after a year of EDCing it. Um, it's seen several states, several different environments. It's seen Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and California. And the reason why that matters is because it's seen freshwater, desert, saltwater, um, two different types of saltwater from the Gulf of Mexico and the Pacific Ocean. And I have yet to see really any rust or any corrosion at all. The only place that I've seen rust or corrosion is on the H1 logo there, but it wiped off. Um, as you can see, it's, it's still in pretty pristine condition. Now to be fair, it is a soft steel, so I did roll the edge one time when I was using it to um, open up a package, and I'm not sure if you could see it right there on the end, but it did roll. I hit a staple on accident, but most steels would roll or chip, so um, it's not really a negative thing. It's just something I had to point out. Now that being said, I really don't have any complaints about the knife at all. It's a fairly good size, especially when you're traveling abroad to places that might have stricter knife laws, or even here in the United States, places like California, um, you, you can't have over a, a two and a half or three inch blade in most places. So I carried this when I was in Los Angeles. Like I said, I used it on the beach and I only wipe it down or wash it when I'm using it for food prep. I've used it to cut steaks and peppers and stuff like that. And usually I use like an alcohol swab or something like that to wipe it off. So nothing crazy. I don't really ever wash this thing unless I'm using it for food. And here you can see I'm about to go fishing. I've cut lots of line with it. Um, here's my big ass sandals for my big feet. <laughs> um, so that being said, I just wanted to make this informal update video. I hope you all have a happy Easter. And um, yeah.